there are only so many ways this can go wrong. Uh, but I imagine we'll find them. Hello, friends. Uh, I'm Colonel Thayer. You're watching the Electro Sports. And uh, this is Brutal Ball. Brutal Ball. Yeah. Now, you, some of you will be here going, what's this then? Uh, and I'm, I'm going to set some expectations early on. It looks not brilliant, right? It, it doesn't. It doesn't look brilliant. But as a management game, it's actually really good fun. Uh, so here's how this works, in a roundabout way. Uh, every single one of the teams in the league. Uh, uh, is uh, is open to be owned by members of Fail Brigade and those who knock around the Fail Brigade server. If you want to take part, it's too late for today, but there are teams available. You just need to go and join the Discord server, which is linked in the description of this here live broadcast. There's no rush to go do it right now. How many teams have I got open? Oh, a good shake. Uh, I'm, I'm counting. Hang on. Yeah, no, I'll, t I'll even tell you who they are. We've got uh, Colonel Scholars available. Grazer Ridge is available. The Lingo Blend All Stars, Nomads, Axemen, Sportsball Union, Steganauts, Marsupials, and the Wizard Hole Wizards. They are all available to be used, uh, and and there's a good shake of existing team owners here in the chat today. So anything could happen now during the games the way that the management side of this we've set it up to work is everyone picks their starting lineup and it's 8v8 right 8v8 iron man so think of blood bowl meets american football right and i know blood bowl is kind of inspired by american football but it's actually closer to rugby um so you've got downs you've got th passing forwards you've got all this kind of caper going on in there uh but it's yeah yeah it's um it's it's out there but yeah all players play on both sides of the ball they might get injured they might get killed <laughs> and and unlike some games when you get killed in this one you're dead uh so that's exciting um yeah so there you go i think that'll probably do it as far as preamble is concerned i might uh i might set up some crowd music uh, some crowd noise for future games because it's a bit quiet and what you're going to be left with is uh is my rather marvelous commentary uh which i admit is uh rather marvelous uh but at the same time it feels like there might it might benefit from a little crowd noise but i'll uh, i'll let you give feedback on that right here we go so it's uh it's the bulldozer power and i'll put this straight out there we are not a strong team uh steve Morey is our best player and he's playing as a lineman so i mean he's not going to be smothered in glory uh, <laughs> versus cheerio and actually i've no idea if cheerio are any good or not so let's find out right going into the game uh you'll see some of our players we've got bubs merchandise uh, Jeffy the Boy Conservative and Julie Hardware, they're all out there. Uh, so Steve Murray, Santino Bananas, the Chicken Druid, Sabutio Bongos as a new signing to the team, and Richard Yardline. Uh, where are they playing? Oh, yeah, they, they almost certainly are. My three runners. Runners, all in point. I'm going to explain the rules just once, and then I'll give you a little bit of a, a refresher as we go in. Um, runners are effectively quarterback and running back in one when the ball is snapped at the start of the play it goes to one of the three runners and they rotate through who gets the ball right and if they are better at running they will probably try and run the ball then if they are better at passing they will try and pass the ball okay right there you go that's that's all you need to know um yeah let's just shoot let's yeah yeah just just play the game there are coaching and substitution options no, 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 we're not doing any of that. Substitutions happen automatically if someone gets wounded or killed. Right, and we're away. Uh, now, why is... Hang on, let's slow it right down for this first game. Why, you ask yourself, is the, pin, uh, the pitch pink? It's because we're... Uh, I, I believe that because the, the pitch is cursed in this particular case. Uh, and that means that... Uh, that uh, uh, 
injuries are going to be more commonplace. Right, okay, so uh, Cheerio are in charge. Pink pitch, pink players. Oh, no, I know what it's done. Yeah, I know what it's done as well. It set the pitch color to be the uniform color because I told it to. I thought it was just the end zones. Anyway, here's Myra Sacrifice for Cheerio, making good headway. Now, each player has stamina, uh, which means the, their stamina drains over the course of every play. So every player will get caught up. The higher the stamina, the longer they can maintain full speed. Frank Dr Trombone now in as runner. He gets absolutely slapped by Jeff Conservative behind the line. Uh, Brandy Fever now looking for a pass. And that's well, that's well off target. No, that's that's hopeless. Right, we can gradually ease the... No, no, no. Not, give me 0.7. There you go. Myra Sacrifice... That elf is going to be getting away from us for the entire game. Eventually brought down by the chicken druid. But Trombone's going to try and take it in on himself and gets through untouched. 1-0... Cheerio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll change the pitch colours for next week. Yeah. Richard Yardline's meditating. Well, that doesn't help anybody. Here's Jeffy Boy Conservator with the pass. He completes it. Sabutio's got a ball uh, and fumbles it. She's coughed the ball up. Now, oh, for crying out loud. But Julie Hardware's picked it up and taken it further. That was a little bit, a little bit fortunate. Hardware now is the runner and he's moving up the field. Listen, the first couple of games you watch of this, you'll go, what on the... Uh, I have no idea what's even happening here. Tr it, trust me, quite quickly you go, oh yeah, I can follow this now. Oh, I don't know why I couldn't follow it before. Uh, what are we looking at? Second and ten. Now, you only get three goes, so it's now third and twelve. Bubs is going to try and make a pass for this. If you fail after three, the ball turns over to the other team. Uh, right, Cheerio back in charge again. I did say we weren't very good. Paolo Condiments is the runner. Gets absolutely slapped by Steve Morrie with his second sack of the game. Trombone passing out in big coverage. Uh, but Condiments caught that one, which I find desperately unreasonable. Uh, but they didn't get the 10 yards and we're in charge again. Here's Jeff Conservative and nothing happening. Sacrifice deflected that one. This is a very low offensive game so far. But uh, it looks like Bongos is turning out to be quite the receiver. Uh, Bub's merchandise tried to run. Got nothing. Maybe one yard. Jeffy Boy looking for a receiver. And has Richard Yardline, who's making a move. He's got some speed. Brandy Fever brings him down inside the 10-yard line. Beautiful work. Julius Hardware now looking for a score. And Yardy drops it in the end zone. You putts. Bubs runs it for a couple of yards, but there's nothing exciting in there. It's going to fall to Jeff Conservative. Can he find the open man? And he does. Well, I say man, he's a drow. Sabutio has got the uh, <laughs> has got the score, tying it up with 73 plays remaining. Bam Bam Puckeye as an orc there, uh, managing to pick up a fumble from Cheerio. Uh, Julie Hardware with a nice block. Third and five. This is all critical. Has Trombone got the legs to make first down? Yes, he does. Uh, the chicken druid is closing really slowly, really, really slowly, uh, and is eventually brought down after 26 yards. Uh, that's hopeless. Uh, there's another completed pass, but it's only a short one, a little two-yarder. Uh, condiments out. Gets it to... Is that Party Boy there with the uh, with the catch? I, I, I can't see. Uh, yeah, it, was, it is. It's <clears throat> Party Boy. Uh, made the catch there. Myra Sacrifice making another catch there. Third and three. Critical play. And a beautiful third sack of the game for Steve Morrie. Surely he's in line uh, to be star defensive player of the week already. But we can't do anything with that. We immediately, I'm oh, trying out now, catch the pig in ball yardy. What? I mean, what are you even for? Julius Hardware throws an interception to Party Boy. Bubs tries to bring him down and indeed does. Flipping. What I oh, just intercept. I can't live with interceptions. They they make me so desperately unhappy. Uh, Party boy there gets a catch. Third and seven though. This is turning into a defensive struggle and no mistake. Again another turnover on downs. Uh, the passing game just is not coming off for anybody right now. Hardware making a catch, but it's a short one. Third and five. Julie Hardware. He's going on foot and gets tackled by. Uh, Someone. Yeah. Well, no, turn it over. All right. Yeah, no, both both teams struggling to make any headway at all. Uh, it's not uncommon for games to finish 
you know, 10, <laughs> 10 points to 12, something like that. Uh, but not today, and certainly not with my team. No, second and 10, Jeff Conservative having a throw. Go, Jeff. And he gets it over to Bongos. Bongos managing to make another 15 yards there. Coming up on, on 100 yards for the game. Julie Hardware there getting a couple. Not enough to make any difference. That's a nice pass. Bongos has got it again. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another. Brought down. Fumbles it. And it's picked up by Brandy Fever going the other way. Well, just what's with the fumbles? Oh, I can't keep turning this over. Oh, it's making me, it's making me disconsolate. Uh, right, what well, we got? Second and four. And uh, check out this glorious beard. Maybe later. Uh, first down for Party Boy. 35 yards today. Uh, there's another. They're playing this short passing game a lot, a cheerio, and it's not necessarily coming off for them. That one, I don't know where they were thinking that was going. Third and seven. Come on, Steve. Sack him. Oh, Sacrifice has got this. And acres of room to spare. And it's a touchdown. Knackers. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. We're, we're on again. Bub's actually making some headway on the ground, pushing the linebacker at 10 yards from the gnome bubbly merchandise. Lovely. And uh, there's conservative out to Bongos. Bongos has got a bit of space. Excellent. Julie Hardware now staying on the ground. Has blockers. Manages to make a move here and there. And it's only five yards, but it's good. Bubs. Wide. Gets it to Bong Bongos again. Found myself a star player. Good. Okay. Jeff Conservative staying on foot. And he's got room to move. Just short of the first down. Second and centimetres to go. Which is a curious, curious mix, given that it's yard lines. But uh, there you go. And it's turned over. Brilliant. Another flipping interception while we're in right up against their goal line. Uh, a safety, incidentally, is worth one point as well. It's worth one point. Uh, third and five. I'll tell you what, though. The BDP defense are getting the job done. Uh, Bubs now making a move on the ground again. Smashing bit of blocking going on there. Breaking tackles everywhere. Uh, and breaking tackles much like uh, speed. Uh, you get worse at it. Touchdown. Bongos. Uh, you get worse at it the more your stamina runs down. Stamina refreshes with every single play. Uh, Santino Bananas grabs his first sack of the day. Loving it. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Uh, trombone, trombone there getting smacked some. And it's a clean pass to Sabuti. I didn't notice that was a turnover. Grand. Uh, Sabutio now has 165 yards receiving, and we've got under 30, ga uh, 30 plays left in the game. Touch my gold and die, says Lucky Steve. It's a good pass. Sabutio has it, has room to move, but is tired and is brought down by Frank Trombone. Okay, come on, Bubs. Come on, Bubs. Come on, Bubs. Bubbly merchandise to Sabutio Bongo's third touchdown for Sabutio. And that's all of our scoring. We now just have to hold firm. 25 plays left in the game. Third and seven. A stop here would be helpful. A stop here would be helpful. Yep. No, it's not going to be a stop here. Bubs. Late tackle missed. Steve Morrow catching from behind. Um, but not before Trombone gets the first down. Got to keep him out of here. Got to keep him out. Uh, second and ten. And Steve Morrow breaks her again. And it's a fifth sack. Of the afternoon for Steve Morrie. Magnificent work. And uh, and there's a stop behind the line, which gives us the ball. 20 plays remaining. Jeff Conservator with a rare catch. Uh, touchdown's one point. Yep. Touchdown is one point. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is not a blowout game by any measures. But there goes Sabutio again. Look for Sabutio in the open. Charge. is not that quick, but seems to be fairly reliable. Lucky Steve wants a new contract. He might be lucky. I think that's the general idea. Bub's there, swerving across tackles, breaking more. Look at the dexterity of bubbly merchandise. 14-yard run from the gnome. Uh, that, Richard Yardline could have been a touchdown hero there and wrapped this game up, but he dropped the flipping ball. He's got this one, though, and he's in. And that surely, surely does it. Surely does it for BDP. Not enough plays left. 14 plays. Unless uh, Cheerio can get themselves a breakaway... And not with plays like that, you won't. No. Okay. All right. There you go. Uh, that's Frank Trombone still trying to run it. And they've turned it back over to me. Thank you very much. I'll take it. 
Although the amount of interceptions we're throwing, it's anybody's guess. Uh, second and ten. Nine plays remaining. Third and ten. Julie Hardware's going to keep it on the ground. Perhaps unwisely. Getting nothing there. Studying your opponent is, is essential, says Steve Mori, uh, in a rare moment of uh, erudition. Uh, Chicken Druid. Nice tackle for loss. Uh, which is tracked in this game. Just, I mean, if you know, you know. Uh, but uh, tracking tackles for loss. This is going well. Bubs on another swerving, amazing piece of tackle avoidance from Bubbly Merchandise. Oh, fantastic. That's 71 yards carrying for Bubbles. That's way better than I thought we'd get on the ground. Uh, but that's, that's solid. Three plays remaining. BDP are up. And that's yard line finally getting in. Oh, no, it's his second. All right, beg your pardon. Uh, but there you go, with a three-goal cushion, and we've got this. Oh, Lucky Steve has been killed. Lucky Steve is dead, having been killed by Santino Bananas. Well, oh, I mean, you wanted high drama to finish things off. You don't get much higher drama than... <sighs> Can you change your team tactics? Um, well, there you go, Lucky Steve killed in the first game. Rip, lucky Steve, we barely knew you. Um, uh, F in the uh, chat to pay respects to lucky Steve. <laughs> unlucky there, Steve. Yeah, very unlucky. Um, can you change the tactics? Okay, so the way the tactics work is it's all down to the players. You have three runners, right? In my case, Jeff Conservative, uh, along with Bub's Merchandise and uh, Julius Hardware, right? And depending on whether uh, the, uh, their passing abilities are better or their running abilities are better, it, it rolls a D100 effectively and splits the difference between the two and kind of goes, right, we will be passing. Every team has a coach as well, an AI coach, and that coach has a preference for either run or pass. So that too influences whether the team runs or passes. There you go. So in, in terms of how does that affect your strategy, it's all down to player selection. And because all players are playing on both sides of the ball, you're rarely going to find someone who is good at blocking, so preventing people getting to your runner, and defensive line, so breaking through. That's probably the closest mix you're going to get. But someone who's great at passing is not often going to be very good at anything in the slightest so that's game one out of the way we're going to get through probably five or six games out of the 16 each week and uh, and then we'll do the manager moments and unlike some games the manager moments in this are high quality they really are right who did i say was up next uh up next we're going to be seeing uh the sea raiders versus colonel school okay which are right here okay all right yeah okay <sighs> All right, here we go. Yeah, Sea Raiders, Colonel School. Uh, who have we got to look out for? Who are the, the runners? Yeah, yeah, three runners at the top. Three runners. Then you've got three blockers, then three gunners. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, for Sea Raiders, uh, Ziggy Whippet, Vera Contagion, and Mike Heimlich are going to be your uh, your runners today. Uh, yeah, okay, yep. Do we like the looks of them? I don't know. And then uh, for Colonel School, who are currently unowned, I believe. Uh, just double-checking. Check, I'm just checking my notes. I've made notes. Yeah, I think you deleted them. No, I didn't. They're there, look. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, no. Colonel School currently doesn't have a manager, so they're playing default. Uh, yeah. Uh, St. Crabthorn, Kremp Inquisitor, and Pingu Specific are the, uh, are the three runners for Colonel School. Let's take it to the ball game. Let's take it to the ball game. Grey Field. I thought it was just the end zone. Right, okay, let's slow it down. All right, here we go. Pingo Specific now for Colonel School, playing in grey. It's their field, so they're at home. Right. Yeah. Okay, Shandy Worth was making a catch there, but it wasn't enough. We've already, we've already turned over on downs. Bernard Dunk, though, making a catch there, and he's injured straight away by Erlen Dickberg. Uh, so he'll be substituted automatically, because you don't keep injured players on the field. Uh, so that was the, that's the last we're going to see of Bernard Dunk with his floppy hair. Uh, and that's another turnover. It's gone back the other way again. Colonel School now passing out. Uh, Crabthorn uh, through for seven. Pingu's going to try and run the rest of it. Uh, and it's another gnome. 
flip pin no, no it's not no beg your pardon it's a goblin uh goblins are absolutely tremendous in this game as are gnomes particularly at running yeah saint crabthorn pretty speedy but pretty fragile that's the problem with elves they're good uh but if you hit them they fall into a, a million pieces shandy worthless there catching the ball uh looking for a good pass uh picks it off but that's not bad. Five yards to go. Shandy Worthless has it and is making moves. The Drow breaks a tackle before being brought down, uh, but has got them into scoring range. Pingu now with a big pass. Very big pass. Went too far too far. Grand Inquisitor making the moves out sideways. Shandy Worthless drops it. Yeah, rubbish. Uh, here comes Crabthorn. Shandy Worthless. Uh, another, well, gets the deflection off Unlucky Jackson. I wonder if Unlucky Jackson will be luckier than Lucky Steve. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, so we're now looking at the Sea Raiders trying to build something up from within their own half. Uh, Alonzo Hottie there wants to go home and watch television. Fine. Uh, that one's intercepted. Uh, Erlen Dickberg, the goblin, making another big play. And that's all there is to say about that. Pingu now trying another run. Uh, goblins, they're savage little bleeders. Uh, getting brought down by uh, Mike Heimlich there inside the five is Kremp. To Pingu, it's a touchdown, and Colonel Score take the lead after 23 plays. Mike Heimlich now making a move back the other way. Can he get a block? Gets a block, but he's going to be brought down quite quickly there. Still a 17-yard run from the halfling. Not bad at all. Ziggy Whippet going to try just the worst idea of a pass you've ever seen in your life. Vera Contagion staying low, making moves. Gets to the line and has it. All right, Mike Heimlich back in control again. Is it going to be another run from Heimlich? Yes, but it didn't go anywhere. Ran straight into a baddie. Uh, Ziggy Whippet stays on the ground. Gets murdered by Pingu Specific. I, mean, I probably shouldn't use such flagrant language there uh, because you can actually get murdered in this game. There's a big old pass. Dickberg has space to move, but Jessica Therapy, the substitute, is coming in to make the tackle. Substitutes have red names. Red names. There you go. Now you know. Now you know. There are other things as well. The blue names, if you see them, mean that they're a rookie. Means they're a rookie. Orange names, which you won't see in today's set of games, means they're a new player on the team. Uh, Shandy Worthless there gets a touchdown. Uh, I don't, you missed a bit of play-by-play -play there, but the action is right there to see. I'm reliably informed by the developer, solo developer, who is absolutely bloody lovely, uh, that there are new animations coming. These are okay. I'm, the first thing I said to her, the first comment I made, because I joined their Discord, the first comment I made was, uh, any chance we could reduce the camera shake or maybe have it on a slider or something? Uh, patch two days later, slider for the amount of camera shake. That's the kind of developer you're dealing with. Uh, started out as a modder. The game is 100% free. There is one piece of DLC that is an expansion pack. But meanwhile, Unlucky Jackson looks like scoring. And does so. Pulls one back for the Sea Raiders. Uh, so I I totally... I I totally advocate this game. Something bad happened there. There's Big Brown. Uh, Erlen Dickberg, the rookie, is having a big game. That's five catches for 101 yards for him so far. Uh, oh, so we've got a bit of Smackdown talk going on there. Smack talk, what rather. Jessica Therapy uh, trying to deflex Felipe Flexing. Yeah, no, incredible. Uh, Mike Heimlich with another good run. And he's got blockers behind him galore. He could go a very long way here. Flexin bakes, gets past the blockers. He's not going to score a touchdown. Uh, he will get brought down because his stamina will have run out. But the halfling there with a 50-yard run. Now, halflings, because they're tiny, very difficult to tackle. But they lack in stamina significantly. Significantly lack in stamina. Uh, Mike Heimlich with over another two-yard run, and that's not good enough for the first down. Colonel School take control again. Here's Pingu. Pingu tries to get past. Oh, breaks a tackle in the backfield, gets the pass out to St. Crabthorn. That's going to be a first down and a lot more. A lot more. Can you uh, can you draft Dickberg to the Raptors? No. No, but you can trade him to the Minstrels if you can speak the right language to uh, to his current manager. Uh, nothing doing there for Colonel School. Turns it back over. The Sea Raiders back in charge as we enter the second half. All right. Okay. Ziggy Whippet going to try something. Probably. There it is. Passes to Heimlich. 
Heimlich gets past the first down line, swerving in and out of traffic. Manages to get 12 off that one. Contagion out past the sideline into the stands. A lucky gift there for some reporter. Unlucky Jackson with the catch. He's got room to move. He's going to get to about the 35, maybe the 30. He's, uh, well, about 33-yard line. Very nice. Heimlich there, showing that he's not just a pretty boy and, and uh, is capable of more than just running it. Oh, yeah. No, he, he got further. Vera Contagion having trouble, uh, but getting some moves. B breaks a tackle from a tree, man, which is not un not easy. No, because they're big. They just fall on you and you get squished. Ziggy Whippet, nothing. Second and eight. Uh, the Sea Raiders need to score here. Ziggy Whippet has space. Ziggy brought down with about what, one yard. One yard to go. One yard to go. Heimlich. Has he got it? No, he has not. Crabthorn takes over possession with a rubbish pass. Uh, Pingu, second runner, comes up, gets a bit beaten down and is stopped behind the line. Kremp. Kremp throws. Worthless has got it. Worthless is making moves down the line. Uh, it gets as far as their own 30. Crabthorn now. Crabthorn sacked by Ziggy Whippet. That's, that's not that's not common. No, no. A runner making a sack. You don't see that every day. Well, this is the first day we're looking at this. True. Yes. True indeed. I don't, it's weirdly compelling. I don't, you should play it. It is bizarrely compelling. Given how rudimentary the graphics are, the team building is wonderful. Is absolutely wonderful. You find yourself experimenting playing some complete loony player uh, in a position and then they have a good game and you go, oh, okay, I'm cool with this. Uh, Sam Crabthorn's actually having a strong game passing. Uh, that was 151 yards. Not bad at all. Uh, Kremping Krista just threw for another six. They've got a third and three. Crabthorn going for the first down and gets it. Here's Pingu. Pingu. Uh, Pingu breaks a tackle but doesn't really get much off it. Kremp Inquisitor now looking for a target. And Earl and Dickberg well out of bounds, not really understanding the shape of the field yet. Uh, Dickberg does get a catch this time around, but it's on third down, so it doesn't count. Heimlich goes on a run. Oh, oh, he's got, yep, yeah, he's got moves. Well, we know he's got moves. We've seen them before. Dickberg closing in for the tackle, and there it is. But it's another 22 yards. Heimlich now is 141 yards rushing today. Uh, second and ten, Vera Contagion out, and uh, it's picked up for seven by Jessica Therapy, the sub. Heimlich's going to try and take it the rest of the way. He's got it. Hasn't got blockers ahead, but he does still have his sweet, sweet moves. Oh, he's putting moves on everybody before being brought down at the 24 23. Oh, he's just you, beauty. Ziggy whip it there, nothing doing. Second and ten. Vera Contagion up the middle. Uh, gets four. Heimlich, he's going to try and hero mode it, and he's got, he's doing it again. The halfling is uh, making a name for himself early. 183 yards rushing today. That's silly. Uh, Ziggy Whippet takes it in. The final distance that ties it up, and there's only 14 plays to go. This one could end in a tie. I don't know. Here's Pingu. Pingu gets a short pass, but why? Why? You want to go long. Uh, Alonzo Hotty there delivers the sack, and now, uh, now it's the Sea Raiders with the chance to maybe take the win. Uh, ten plays to go. Whip it. Is try it busts through tackles there. Makes the first down. And they've got 30 yards to go. I, I, I mean, you, unless you've got your star halfling. Make him But here comes Vera Contagion, the human. Takes it to the 15. Eight plays left. Heimlich now. Tons of space. Just all the space in the known world. He's going to get in. He's going to get in. He's in. Goodness gracious me, that's his first touchdown of the game, and that might be enough to wrap it up. Alonzo Hotty there getting a sack, up, and uh, Pingu now showing some determination for Colonel score, but I think it's too little too late. Uh, Kremp Inquisitor, five plays remaining, uh, with Colonel score trailing by one. Trailing. Dickberg, though, makes the catch and is putting moves on Jessica Therapy. Ziggy Whippet catches him. Three plays to go, 30 yards to the goal line. A tie is the best they can hope for. Pingu breaks a bunch of tackles, being closed down. Two, or two plays remaining. Kremp Inquisitor passing from the 16. No, no, nothing doing. Wasted that last play of the game. Crabthorn stuffed. Stuffed. Just destroyed. Uh, well, I mean, if you had to ask, uh, I think you've seen the uh, Zoltan. 
there plays for the Sea Raiders, but as a blocker, so you doesn't get a lot of doesn't get a lot of air time. Uh, so Mike Heimlich, I think, is uh, making a name for himself there. Uh, 198 rushing yards. Earl and Dickberg, though, also a big name. Both teams coming away with players you've now heard of. Let's move to our next game. Let's keep moving. Uh, next up, you've got the Fire Chefs against Stardoza Human Resources. I'm uh, I'm I'm favouring games where the owners are in the stadium. Uh, if the owner is and, and if they were early enough to go, hello, I'm in the stadium, uh, and then we'll keep going. I'm going to do an hour more just just for the, your viewing pleasure. Uh, an hour more of games, and then we will simulate the remainder and then do the manager moments. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I will need a little drinky because I'm shouting a lot, but that's the way we like it. Not having to actually concentrate on playing a thing, that makes a difference. Uh, right, Fire Chefs up against Stardozer. Uh, for the Fire Chefs, your three runners Danny Cyanide, Mindy Bleach, and Betsy Cthulhu. Uh, who should we look for? That Danny Cyanide is very impressive looking, and Mindy Ble Bleach looks pretty flipping good as well. Uh, hopping over to Stardos, a Bandit Joe, Danny Diet, and Beelzebub Fastidious, who will be listed in the game as Beelzebub Fast, uh, just purely because the character limits shuffle all the numbers around, so I've had to play a little fast and loose. They are lacking. Yeah, that actually, they are really lacking. They're, they're lacking talent at runner, uh, Stardozer. However, uh, Bandit Joe is an exceptional linebacker. Uh, Randy Shanghai playing blocker and lineman. Great blocker, rubbish lineman. Um, and then you've got two outstanding gunners. Gunners, wide receivers, effectively, right? Okay, yeah. Let's get to the action. I can't wait to see how this one manifests. And uh, no, this is a dirty one. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Danny Diets getting started. Uh, Stardos are playing in green here. Bandit Joe gets tackled for nothing. That's a second and nine. Beelzebub just gently trundling. Gently trundling there. Danny Diet the elf. Don't know who he was throwing to there. And I'm not entirely sure he does either. They've turned it over. And now we get to see the fire chefs in action. Mindy Bleach looking for a target. Has one. And that's a nice catch by Laszlo Blast. Betsy Cthulhu. Indecision cost Betsy a sack there. Danny Cyanide running straight up the middle. Straight up the middle. Pulling moves. The gnome is running straight ahead. Has blockers going on behind her. Kim Frankmaster could make a play here. Uh, no, brought down by John Baritone. But that was a 42-yard run for Danny Cyanide. Mindy Bleach now trying, I don't know, some kind of option pass maybe? It didn't work. Betsy Cthulhu straight up the middle. Tree Man manages to make a stop inside the one. Um, Danny just standing there. Has, uh, no, that pass is deflected. Mindy Bleach runs it in. one nothing. Fire Chefs up so far. Hard to see anything on that field. I will endeavour to clean the fields up a little bit ahead of the next game. Uh, the, the next week, because uh, it, it takes a bit. I might need to do some experimenting. Stardozer, uh, Bandit Joe, has been injured by Kimberly Freightmaster. So uh, we're going to see a different runner coming in, and I imagine that's Rock Justice uh, coming off the bench to try and make a difference. But that does not bode well for a team who are already struggling. Danny Cyanide just breaking tackles and juking and spinning and all this business all over the place. Another first down. I think we're looking... Omaha, says John Baritone. Right you are. Uh, Laszlo Blast there, dropping a catch. Uh, here comes Betsy Cthulhu, trying it again, and loses a yard. Danny Cyanide up the middle, making all those, all those amazing moves again. Gnomes, I tell you, man, what can you do with them? Gnomes and flipping halflings. They should all be fed into the mincing machine, as far as I'm concerned, but they appear to play quite well. Here comes Betsy. Betsy, she's making moves. Gets another four not exciting. Danny Cyanide there. Managed to complete the pass, but it's too short. And uh, Stardozer take over. A completed pass for only three yards. Is Beelzebub. He's going up the middle. This is a canid. So a dog boy. And uh, makes a few. Rock Justice is quick as you like. Flipping heck. What was he doing on the bench? I don't know, but he's like, he's got like afterburners. That's a nice pass. Passing out to Picasso. Uh, Picasso manages to truck through the first uh, tackle attempt there. 
Uh, Danny Dyer, the elf, managing to complete a good one there. There's Beelzebub. Here comes Rourke Just. He's going to run it again. Yes, he is. Look at the speed on that little bleeder. Amazing. Uh, Danny Dyer, the elf. He's going for the pass. In traffic, but it's caught by Randall Frippery. And they're inside the 10. And oh, one more broken tackle, and that would have been something. Beelzebub now is straight in. One all. 30 plays gone. 30 plays gone. Uh, what are we looking at? There's a pass. And it's gone. Laszlo Blast, the satyr. He's off to the races. Fast as you like. Jump like you wouldn't believe, but they don't break many tackles. Uh, Betsy Cthulhu, the rattling, uh, trying to make some action. There's a fumble. Who's, who's picked it up? Uh, Randy Shanghai has picked it up. And uh, before you know it, Stardozer are back in control again. Beelzebub up the middle. Brought down quite rapidly by the lineman there. Uh, Father Tempest is scowling at his teammates. Not a good sign. Rock Justice thinks he has an angle, looks like he has an angle, and is making the moves. Why was he not in the starting lineup? What amazing play. Uh, there's just a pancake by the runner. That's impressive. Uh, Picasso there making a catch. Second and two is Beelzebub working away out to the wing. That's the first down. Have we got enough to get all the way in? Not this time. Rock now. We'll just run it ahead. Makes maybe a yard and a bit. Danny Diet tries the same thing. Doesn't work. Third and goal. Must get in. Beelzebub with the second touchdown of the day. Whew. Yes, this is more like it. End-to-end -end stuff. Laszlo Blast with another great catch. Uh, giving a first down uh, to the Fire Chefs. Uh, Betsy Cthulhu now. Spins off Picasso 8, but doesn't get any more than that from that one. Uh, Danny Cyanide, the gnome, is on the move. Going to be brought down quite quickly, I would imagine. Managing to spin away from one tackle, but the second one got her. Uh, Mindy Bleach now with a pass, but it was very harassed. A very harassed pass. Betsy Cthulhu out to Kim Freightmaster. Nothing. No. No. Nothing. Cyanide gets one to Freightmaster this time, who breaks a tackle. And uh, makes it all the way down to the 10. Fire Chef's here looking for a score. Uh, that's a one-yard pass. Barely worth talking about, so I won't bother. Here's Betsy looking for an open target. Doesn't find one. Gets caught at the line. Third and nine. Cyanide tries to take it solo. Oh, picks up a great block from Kim Freightmaster, but can't do enough. Danny Diet passing from his own end zone. Gets out to Randall Frippery. Incredible play. Uh, that's uh, not quite a first down. Second down, Beelzebub clears. An opportunity there. And wait, well, who was that a fumble? Yeah, it was. Father Tempest picked up the fumble. And once again, the Fire Chefs are now in charge. Here's Danny Cyanide. It's in. Well, I never. It's two all. That's a score. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Steady on. Oh, I'm not sure I can take it. Beelzebub once again running the ball. Give me some numbers for the day. That's 58 yards off 10 carries. Helpful. Rock Justice not finding anything there. Second and ten. Danny Diet throws wide. Has Randall Frippery. And this Dark Elf is taking off. But he's going to get brought down like that. 127 yards for uh, for Danny Diet in the air. Uh, Beelzebub, another bit of running. Takes him up to 71. And uh, here comes Rock. I'm liking Rock Justice because he's dumb. And goes real fast up the middle. I wanted to sign him for the uh, for the BDPs. Beelzebub trying to make it through. Doesn't make it. Puck hands the ball over to the opposite team. They took it the length of the field but could not deliver. Here's a second and 11 for the Fire Chefs. Wide open is Laszlo Blast. But he's already moving slowly so will be caught quite quickly there. Uh, but that's that's the kind of play that the Fire Chefs need. Betsy Cthulhu manages to spin out of one tackle and is immediately brought down. Danny Cyanide gets nothing there. Third and nine. Mini Bleach looking for action and has someone. Laszlo. It was Laszlo with the catch and that takes him over 100 yards with the day. Uh, big numbers, big time, big action. Uh, yeah, would you like... I would zoom in. Here's the thing. I'll zoom in for you, right? Okay, All right. It's It's even better if you zoom in, but there's a problem. And I'll, I'll leave it at this zoom until you spot the problem. Uh, if we don't spot the problem, then there's no problem. But I think you'll find we'll be zooming back out again before you know it. Betsy Cthulhu gets through. This is a second and six. Danny Cyanide. It's another. It's more of gnomish moves from Danny Cyanide, who gets slapped inside the 10-yard line. Here's Mindy Bleach. That one's gone to Kim Freightmaster. Over the line. 
And the Fire Chefs take the lead for the first time today with just 24 plays to go. Uh, Danny Diet can't do anything. Big tackle for loss there. Here's Rock Justice. No, no agility. No agility from Rock Justice at all. Danny Cyanide throws long, but it's picked off. Randall Frippery makes an interception. And the Fire Chefs, who could have put this to bed, didn't. No. Uh, Kim Frankmaster getting a sack there. And uh, just uh, Stardozer are getting no luck at all. Okay, right. So, Justice is real fast, but has no moves. Not one. Unlike Danny Flaming Gnome the Cyanide. Yeah, straight up the gut for 15 yards. That's 143 for the day. Uh, Mindy Bleach gets nothing. Betsy Cthulhu. At this stage, they want to take plays off. If they can get the score, they can put this game on ice. However, as long as they keep the ball... It works in their favour. Mindy Bleach, again, going up the middle. Nothing. She's got four carry attempts today and no no yards. But here's Betsy Cthulhu uh, getting six yards off that one. 44 yards. Father Tempest gets the sack as Stardos take control. And they're, they're doomed. Third and 12. And they've given it a rock justice. This isn't going to work. Nope. Okay, maybe that's why he's not starting. I reckon that's why he's not starting. Shouldn't be a runner anyway. Well, not without better blocking, I would say. Not sure where that one was going. Not well, would be my answer. Betsy Cthulhu putting some moves on people. Uh, takes her just short of 50 yards for the day. And the that's a Betsy Cthulhu interception. Well, that's the game. That's the game, then. That is the game. Uh, the Fire Chefs now maintaining control. Father Tempest has been injured by Len Styrofoam. Will be replaced. Uh, but the game's all but over. Oh, the game is over. Kim... Frank Master there, uh, catching the touchdown. Danny Diet now, just playing for his own personal stat numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Earl Blackfinger who's come in and is, uh, is throwing down some smack. The Fire Chefs wrap that one up. 4-2. No field goals. No field goals. Not in this game. That was a decent game. Could have gone either way. Didn't. No. Uh, very much a ground game, though. 198 yards on the ground for the Chefs, whereas Stardo's 142. The Chefs also owning the passing game, 166. But clearly a run-oriented game. Let's get into the next one. Uh, is going to be the Blood Pit Bouncers up against the Port Miggins Pirates. Uh, rather giving away my personal predilection towards uh, alliteration. Uh, now then, where are we? Uh, bouncers. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's hiding behind my little picture. That's okay. The game will be here in a moment. Uh, I'll keep... Did we like it zoomed in a little more? Did we like it a little bit more zoomed in? Anyone? Any takers? Anyone want to vote? We'll try it until it doesn't work. When it doesn't work, you'll see why I keep it zoomed out. Um, but it's... I, I think the action is nicer zoomed in a little further. Although you can see more. You see? You can see more. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get a roll in. All right. Uh, for your uh, Port Miggins Pirates, who are... Are they under control? I believe they are, yes. Uh, 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 Port Miggins Pir Pir Pirates. Yes, the Port Miggins Pirates are owned. Uh, Port Miggins Pirates. Anthony Go is your first runner. Very good player, by the looks of him. 94 rated running here. Now, that's an amalgam of a bunch of different stats. Uh, Martin preferred it zoomed out. Okay. Well, we can experiment and find a happy medium. Uh, then you've got Pitbull Jones. Pretty solid and also a pretty decent. Anthony Go is actually a very good cover player. Think cornerback slash safe secondary player, right? Mark the receivers. Uh, and then Richard Boom, who's rubbish. Uh, over on the, uh, the bouncer's side of the fence... Uh, yeah, uh, you've got uh, Angie Railroad, uh, a 96 rated runner. Not bad. Ratings can go over 100, but it's pretty rare. Uh, followed by Vaughn Cloth is another good rated runner, halfway decent linebacker as well. And then Cat Hardcore, who's rubbish. Okay, let's. Uh, are we looking at anybody else? Ram Pleasure Dome. Yeah, he's going to be tearing it up. And Kiki Tyrant. Kiki Tyrant and Ram Pleasure Dome are both going to be uh, going to be running a very, very long way. Um, given half a chance. Right, slow her down. And we'll zoom it in one notch rather than two. Angie Railroad takes off straight away. It's a gnome. It's another gnome. 
Crikey, this picture's even worse, being blood red. Yeah. That's all right. You can see the names moving around. That's not quite the same, though. Vaughn Cloth is the Bastet manages to... That's Bastet. Yes? Right. Good. What are they? Oh, I've got it on my notes somewhere. I'll look it up. Some kind of frog? I think they're cats. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, cloth is is already making hay, way. Uh, hay though. Yes. Big Rod McGurk, the troll, gets a deflection from the line. Here's Marnie Wormgut uh, making a catch there off Angie Railroad as the bouncers are making solid moves early on. Oh, Cloth is. What a, what a bit of razzle-dazzle there at the five-yard line to get in for the touchdown. Now let's have a look and see if the Pirates can answer. There's Elmo Horseshoe. Uh, making a charge up to the 50-yard line. That's pretty strong. 31-yard pass to start today. Pitbull Jones, the rattling. While he was in there, ducking and diving and getting splattered. Uh, Richard Boom, elf. Yeah, yeah. Great in every position, apart from being hit. Uh, at which point, less good. Here's Anthony Go. Long pass. Picked up by Kiki Tyrant. Breaks one tackle. Fumbles the ball. Flora, Tunisia hand. The tree man picks it up. Tree woman. Perhaps. I don't know. Um, here's Vaughn, Vaughn Cloth is. Throws it away rather than getting sacked. Probably wise. Third and very short. Didn't work. That gives the ball now to uh, uh, to the Pirates again. Anthony Goat making some more moves. He's going he's gonna to get hurt if he keeps doing that. Pitbull Jones up the middle. Gets the first down and more. Uh, the rattling. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another tackle. Breaks a third and a fourth. And then is gradually brought down as he runs out of steam. Gracious. Uh, boom, the elf. He's inside the five and it's in for the touchdown. Uh, one all uh, with 18 plays gone. This one could be our highest scorer so far, perhaps. Uh, Veronica Hammock there laying in some smack. Uh, the coach should go back to two days, two, two a days during the season. Right, you are. Uh, Cat Hardcore there, trying to pass, but it's deflected. Second and ten, Angie Railroad swerving up the middle, um, but needs to be running north and south. Less of this east and west business brought down. No, not brought down. <laughs> brought down eventually, but only after 23 yards. Cloth Ears. Cloth Ears has got some moves. Uh, didn't get much off that one, but I think we'll be seeing more of Cloth Ears before the game is over. Angie Railroad. Another team keeping it on the ground by preference. This is a nice run. Railroad inside the 20, inside the 15, inside the 10. Very hard to bring down. Here's Cloth Ears with the pass to a cameraman or some such. Here's Cat Hardcore. Goes wide. It's deflected because there were two defenders there. It was a stupid idea. Angie Railroad tries to go for glory and is in. Four, two, one. Now, bouncers in the lead. Anthony Go running it back the other way for the uh, Pirates. Gets a first down. That's nice. Here's Pitbull Jones looking for a passing lane. Doesn't find one. No, nothing. Nothing good going on there. Boom. Now, again in charge. Manages to dodge Cloth here as he comes in on a very fast tackle attempt. But then really loses a sense of, of who he is and why he is and what's going on. Kiki Tyrant makes a catch and is stretching out a lead away from Cat Hardcore. Cloth here closes in using that blistering pace. Uh, and manages to make the tackle. Here's Pitbull Jones, managing to find a little bit of oxygen. He's out there, he's inside the 10, he's at the 5, and breaks the tackle, he's in for the touchdown. Good to speed, I think that's the fastest touchdown drive we've seen so far today. Uh, two all the score, 66 plays gone. Here's Vaughn Cloth, here's, uh, again, space. The Bastet is making it happen. Bastet. I'm not swearing, it's a species name. Don't be racist. Uh, Bastet there, making a catch. Uh, here's a gnome. Gnome to drow. Barney Wormgut there, brought down just before the 40. Uh, here's Cloth here. He's going to get flipping it. He's fast. He's very class. He's got seven carries today for 86 yards. That's pretty impressive. Cat Hardcore has got one carry for nothing. Worth it. Ram Pleasure Dome manages to make a catch. That's three. Uh, I, I predicted they'd be good. There's another one. Yeah, but, I mean, none of these are exciting catches, though, are they? They're all little West Coast offense rubbish. Marnie Wormgut making moves, breaks a whole ton of tackles and gets in. Putting the bouncers back on top. Yes, sir. Uh, Anthony Go, the elf, managed to get four yards there. There's a good pass. Elmo Horseshoe, though, drops it. Uh, what is he? 
A uh, 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 football player of some kind? Oh, okay. Uh, turnover after a three and out. And Ram Pleasure Dome finally makes some moves. Hey, see, I told you. He's going to get tackled quite easily, but that's a 27 yarder. Pretty nice. Railroad, the gnome has got 80 uh, odd yards thrown so far. It's Cat Hardcore. Uh, a pretty slow runner, but is getting some blocks. Breaks a tackle, makes it inside the five. Big opportunity here uh, for the, the bouncers to go ahead, and they do. Angie Railroad smashing her way in for the second uh, second touchdown for her today. Kiki Tyrant now making a catch, uh, but the Pirates have got to have got to find a comeback here somehow. Uh, yeah, uh, boom, getting just wrecked. Yep, wrecked. Kiki Tyrant makes a catch, and the Pirates are in motion. No tackles broken, but that 24-yarder helps significantly. Pitbull Jones with a pass. Wide open Elmo Horseshoe. I don't think we'll see him again. Uh, Richard Boom there trying to run. Didn't work. Anthony Go is giving it a go. Nine yards to go for the first down. Manages to swerve in and out of traffic. Uh, and gets the first down. I would have thought that was possible, but it clearly was. Uh, Pitbull Jones just surrounded by bouncers. Manages to scrape three yards there, but that's a miracle. Uh, is Boom. He's got space. He's got blockers. Cloth is. Pushes him out of bounds. Here's go again. Big pass. Horseshoe. Finally catches one. Yeah, well done. You still suck. Andrew Railroad, meanwhile, is going back the opposite way. Already to the 45 yard. Mike, and keeps going. Oh, can no one bring this gnome down? Yes. Yes, the gnome can be brought down. But that's 100 yards for the day from Angie Railroad. Uh, that's pretty solid. Cloth is not far behind. Uh, here's Marnie Wormgut again. Going places. Uh, taking it downtown. Takes it to the 11-ish yard line. Uh, that's a deflected pass. Second and 10. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Cloth is trying to, trying to speed. Gets inside the five. All clear. Straight in. Second touchdown of the day. 11-yard touchdown run there for Vaughn Cloth is. But then it's... Uh, uh, actually repeats a positive performance by tackling for loss on opposition. Here's third and 12. Richard Boom again shaking them off, but not getting far enough. And this is a big opportunity now. The bouncers, if they can score off this, must surely, surely be favourite to win the game. Angie Railroad continuing to be impossible to break down now. Has 124 yards. Here's Vaughn, Vaughn Cloth ears. That's not the last way of him. 100 yards for Cloth ears. Hardcore with a pass. Manages to get it to uh, Ram Pleasure Dome, who I thought we'd see more of, but the ground game has clearly been that much more important. Cloth is, uh, gets it to about the five. Four yards to go. Cat Hardcore. Caught. Marnie Wormgut is in, and that's got to do it now. The Bouncers, six. Pirates, three. 27 yards to go, but here's Elmo Horseshoe. Uh, he's not given up on the day. He clearly feels that his career is uh, is potentially doomed. Uh, Pitbull Jones now, the rattling, is going, oh, it's time to wake up. Is it inside the final quarter of the game? A 25-yard carry there. Here's Boom, the elf. And massive catch. Horseshoe there catches it right on the line. And then that was just, just a terrible play. Is they don't, they, There they go. Kick your tyrant. Get, catch the touchdown. Uh, Pirates pull one back, but they now have to defend. And that's easier said than done. Pleasure Dome there, grabbing a 17-yarder. Uh, and uh, and he's, he's down. Cloth is making some moves. 20 plays left to go. Uh, Cat Hardcore gets it to Marnie Wormgut. We've seen this move before. Marnie Wormgut proving to be elusive. 105 yards uh, receiving today. And there's another one. Uh, manages to break off Anthony Go, but uh, but then just gets you know deliberated. Uh, there's a rare sack. Jerry Surge, the Minotaur, grabbing a sack there. Pleasure Dome grabbing his hundredth yard. No, no, I don't think so. That was passing yards. Whatever. The, the bouncers have got another one. Seven four now the score. Uh, but here goes Horseshoe again. Well, it's too late for you, Shoe. No, 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 no. You sucked early on, and therefore you don't deserve to live. Uh, Pitbull Jones there, getting nothing. Is Richard Boom. He's on the go again. Can he break off the tackle from Angie Railroad? No, no, he cannot. 12 to go. Anthony Go. Passes it out. Shoe's got it. 
and is brought down at about a seven. Okay. Yep. Apparently the blood prick bouncers are gonna rock here today. Uh, any other day of the week, you'll have to check the calendar. And that did not go in. Third and goal. Out the back. Well, this is going to be tough. A uh, sack here is, uh, is is a safety, but no, there's there's Marnie Wormgut again, breaking tackles and heading 45 yards down the field. That's that's pretty that's pretty impressive. Uh, the the bouncer offense is looking flipping lethal right now. I'm not going to lie, looking very very dangerous. Four plays left. Uh, the, the the pirates have got it back, but it's too late. They're not going to do it now. Uh, no. No. Horseshoe now is 150 yards catching, but they've all been in the last 25 plays or so. Wide open Pitbull Jones. He's he's heading there. I don't know where everybody went, but it didn't work. Uh, this is just two plays left. Richard Boom just playing for the honour of the business of staying in the business of the honour. And there goes Shoe getting some more yards. In fact, this might even go all the way. Marnie Worm got closing in. Ram Pleasure Dome closing in, but... Was it a score? We might never know. I don't think it was. Port Megan's Pirates, four. Blood Pit bounces, seven. Seven. Uh, biggest score we've seen so far. 528 yards from the bouncers. That is not that rare, which is why I love this game. Uh, and uh, the Pirates, 500 yards. Um, very balanced offense from both of them. And I think what we'll find as the season goes on is maybe teams start to play to their strengths a little more. Or do they? We don't know. Tricky. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, who is next on my to-do list? That was Bouncers Pirates. Next, the uh, Bumps and Medics are taking on the Sunshine Fun Bus. Two properly old franchises going at it in a non-biblical sense uh for the fun bus who are are they owned at the moment i don't know sunshine Funda. yes they do they do have an owner um right uh ed big mother uh, yeah is eh, he's all right that's a that's a minotaur as a runner this is going to be exciting uh arson bubble smith is absolutely lousy oh dear and then Mark Disneyland is, yeah, yeah, okay, I guess. Ulysses Failure plays for the Sunshine Fun Bus these days. He's uh, playing as linebacker and blocker. He's a terrible blocker. Okay, all right, fair play. Uh, m moving over to the medics. Oh, dear. Glossy Supreme is excellent. Uh, not at quite as good, almost as good, but not quite, as Martin Jackhammer. Um, yeah, these two are going to make a mess. In mere moments, I just need a little drinky, and uh, and then it'll be good. That's my little drinky. It's good. Fiona Cannula is so-so, but even then, almost as good as the best two. I want to see Ed Big Mother do stuff because I don't. I can't see how it's real. Anyway, here we go. And uh, first in charge of the medics. Uh, Glossy Supreme, the rattling. Big throw. Big catch from Dante Las Vegas uh, for the first down. Fiona Cannula now. Another pass. Las Vegas can't quite hold that one, though. Claudia Dystopia getting the deflection. Keeping it in the air. Las Vegas is, uh, is being favoured. Martin Jackhammer there with the throw. Glossy Supreme trying to run. Proving to be difficult to bring down. Six yards there for the rattling. Uh, the weather is foggy. Foggy. What am I drinking this evening? This is Diet Coca Cola. It's not just for girls. Uh, anyway, that was turned over, and there is Ed Big Mother, just basically splattering through ta uh, tackles to get 14 yards. Can he keep it up? Is Disneyland keeping it on the ground and has room to move? If someone can handle Jackhammer, and they do, uh, Disneyland is going to get brought. No, he's not. Disneyland is going. Vegas will bring him down. As a guy. Martin Jack Hammer's injured. Oh my goodness me. Uh, injured by Ed Big Mother, uh, who is proving to be dangerous on both sides of the ball already. Uh, Big Martha just... The Minotaur just threw a pass. Yeah, I know. That's not something you see every day. Another turnover. Well, we've got some movement going on. We've got some violence happening, but no scoring as yet. 
uh, with uh, 13 yards gone. Las Vegas there with the catch. Uh, Fiona Canula the pass. Fink Conduct has been brought on as a reliever. <laughs> a reliever? Sure. A replacement, a substitute, call on what you want. Glossy Supreme rattling. Uh, Makes some good moves. Third and one. Pass attempt. Glossy Supreme picks it up. Gets enough for the first down, but that was a, yeah, it wasn't a convincing looking play. Fink Conduct tries running it and gets maybe half a yard. Supreme, again, trying the run. The medics are getting nothing from the ground here. They need to be sticking it back in the air again. It doesn't work. They turn it over. Here's Big Mother. Smashes through three tackles. Four, five, and six. Six tackles before eventually being brought down. Disneyland tries to pass. That's Claudia Dystopia, who has a bit of room to move. Gets out to the 30. Now got lots of room to move. To the 20. Fink Conduct eventually trips her up. And uh, that's solid. Here's Arson Bubblesmith, the rookie. Uh, rookie pass. Manages to get four yards. Big Mother again. I love this guy. He's just he's just tossing players around. Gets the first down and more. He ain't quick, but my goodness me, he's quick. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Batista Cranium there with the first touchdown of the day for the Sunshine Fun Bus. That's good. Glossy Supreme there making a run. Fiona Cannula trying to uh, trying to get some action. Uh, that brings up a third and one. Fink Conduct's going to try and work it, but won't. Ulysses Failure, the Orc, gets a sack. Oh, I am signing him. Uh, I want lots of Orcs on my team, please. Big Mother, an unsuccessful run there. Gives a second and ten to the Fun Bus, who are so far looking like the far superior team. Bubble Smith now. Room to move. Needs to break one more tackle. Doesn't. Turns it back over. Glossy Supreme. Tries to run. Gives a little option pass out to Napoleon Blunt, who is taken down after four yards. Cannula now. Gets out to Blunt again. Blunt the Goblin. Uh, he's up to the 50-yard line. Uh, this is possibly the best play we've seen from the medics so far. Think conduct there brought down. Yeah. Here comes Supreme. Probably their best player on the field so far, but just not good. No. Cannula. Goblin. Another couple of yards, but comes up short. Big Mother up the middle. Not subtle, uh, but there he goes. Uh, trundling up the field. Dante Las Vegas will try and break him down. And, uh, well, that's what happens when a rattling tries to tackle a Minotaur. The Minotaur goes, yeah, maybe later. 49-yard uh, scamper, perhaps, there from Ed Big Mother. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, second and eight. Arson Bubblesmith throws wide. Batista Cranium's got this one. Doesn't quite make it. Inside the five, though. Uh, Ed Big Mother is trying to pass it. No, nope, gives up on that as a concept and then runs it in. Ed Big Mother's first touchdown of the day. Okay, Glossy Supreme there. Tackled easily. Fiona Cannula throws. Finds Dante Las Vegas, who is rapidly brought back down. Fink conducts. Nothing. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you bring a substitute on. Having to substitute that early is uh, is not working in the medic's favour in the slightest as they turn it over again. Big Mother up the gut. Yep, just running over everybody. And uh, and is on a trundle. And, uh, and based off this performance, I half anticipate we're going to see an awful lot of ogres, trolls, tree men, flipping minotaurs uh, taking over as ball carriers next week. And it won't work. But for some reason... Big Mother's getting it done. Dystopia there with a great catch. The Fun Bus in danger of scoring again. Gets it to the five. Whew. Okay, Big Mother going up the middle. Can anyone stop him? Can he find the right direction? He's there. He's there. I mean, you would think for a race famed for living inside uh, Labyrinthes, they'd be able to... Labyrinthes? Sure. Carry on with the narrative. Uh, they'd easily be able to find their way in a straight line. Conduct with a pass. And it's blocked by Cranium. And here we go. Big Mother again getting a carry. Yep, where's he going? Not far this time. Only seven. But he already has 125 yards as we're in the second half of the game. That's an impressive performance. Well, no one can tackle him. No. Uh, Big Mother has room to move. This is even more dangerous. He's decided to run out to the side. That's rare. Cannula tries to tackle the first time. Gets back up. Gets him down the second time. Take his legs away. Can't run if you take his legs away. Disneyland makes a move. He's inside the two. Maybe the three. Bubble Smith with the pass. Cranium. Second touchdown of the day. And it's the Sunshine Fun Bus four. 
The bombs and medics, nothing. Nothing. Not a sausage. No, they are getting beaten in every phase of the game right now. And that one didn't go well either. Cannula with a two-yard pass. No. Yeah, think conduct. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they clearly do not have talent at runner uh, on the medics. Uh, conduct there getting a catch. Enough for a first down. We don't see that very often. Uh, there's another throw. Dante Las Vegas, arguably their best receiver so far, gets another 26. That's his 100th yard of the game. Glossy Supreme tries to run up the middle. Cannula's trying to run around the edge, but gets nothing. It's third and five. It could all be over here. It is. And uh, <laughs> Ed Big Mother moves contentedly. Well, here he goes with the ball again. Yeah. And there he goes. Uh, breaks a tackle. Breaks a tackle. Glossy Supreme trying it again. This time it works. But not before he got 33 yards. Mark Disneyland looking for a target. Has Claudia Dystopia, who has room to move, is probably going to get up as far as the 10 maybe? No, not quite. Uh, 99 yards receiving for Dystopia so far. Glossy Supreme gets sacked. Ed Big Mother though. He doesn't really hold with such things. Uh, however, he, did, he gets stuck in traffic after only five yards there. Disneyland, the elf, makes a throw, makes a catch, and that's the fifth for the fun bus. Well, yeah. There's Supreme, seven yards. That's 12 carries for only 50. And you kind of go, well, that's not terrible. Yeah. However, you know, uh, I mean, in this game... A 10-yard average is really nothing to be proud of. Uh, Supreme gets another 11-yard carry. They're keeping the ball. Napoleon Blunt, we haven't seen him since the first part of the game. Gets a catch there, but not a lot. Fink Conduct is useless. Seven carries, two yards. Canyon now says we need to hire a new coach. I uh, don't... Well, I mean, it's debatable. I'd agree, but you can debate it if you like. Uh, can you there? Getting nothing. A uh, bit of a mouthy goblin. Saturn Miss, the ogre, has three sacks for the fun bus today. Uh, Glossy Supreme still trying to move it on the ground. It's just not happening. Now, the thing is, in this foggy environment, it's actually very difficult to pass. So it's a miracle that the passing game's working at all. But Big Mother now is now over 200 yards rushing for the day. Disneyland making some moves as well. Uh, when an elf rushes, you've got to catch him up. Really? What an insightful piece of commentary. Thank you very much. Uh, Bubble Smith now having a go. And the rookie's done well here, getting another first down. What's he got today? He's only got three carries. All right, well, not impressive. Big Mother again. <laughs> Just no one can stop him. I think it's a weakness in the linebackers. Uh, did we at least win the coin toss? Uh, going between Fiona Cannula and Glossy Supreme there. 6-0 now. Uh, the fun bus probably got this one in hand. Uh, 13 plays left to go. Uh, here goes Fiona, Fiona Cannula, possibly her biggest run of the day. 13 whole yards. Well, yeah. Blimey, Fink Conduct, possibly biggest run of the day. Breaks a couple of tackles and is then brought down. Never mind. I thought it was going to be exciting for a moment. It wasn't. Uh, Supreme, another six yards there. Canula with a pass attempt. And it was caught, but for two yards. Wow. That one was missed, and they turned it over. Big Mother. Little run. Little run this time. Yeah, he's not, not made enough headway. 227 yards. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's Cranium getting another catch. They've got quite a few weapons to choose from of Sunshine Fun Bus, and I must say, they are looking quite impressive. Uh, yeah, yeah, Fun Bus and the Bouncers both looking pretty good in this uh, first week. Uh, Big Mother's out there again. You wouldn't think of playing a Minotaur as a running player, but uh, no, there it is. Another 29 yards. Crikey, there's four plays left. Uh, I think he's going to get one more go, his big mother, if they don't score. And they're about to score. Bubble Smith gets the second touchdown of the afternoon. Nine-yard touchdown. Seven, nothing. Uh, the fun bus absolutely just monstered, literally monstered the medics. There, 256 yards running for uh, Ed Big Mother. A name, I'm sure... 
we'll be seeing again. Yeah. Crumbs. Yeah. Crumbs indeed. Uh, there's there's few, if any, other ways of describing that one. 7 nothing. Yeah. Okay, who's next on my chopping list? Next on my chopping list, you've got the Wretched Minstrels taking on the Toy Masters. Okay. New Plays Ancient. Uh, what's DFP? That's Defensive Points, uh, which they're like star player points, I think. I don't know. I'll look it up when I care. Uh, on the Toy Masters, you've got Evan Doublehair, who looks pretty capable. Some green dude. Yeah, it might be an elf. Might be an orc. Can't really tell. Uh, you've then got Judy Conspiracy, uh, who is not great. You've then got Scrag Vitamins, who is properly good. Looks like a halfling. Maybe plays like a halfling. We'll just have to see. Crumbs. What you should keep your eye out for, though, is Tag Evil Couch. A 110 rated gunner. Gunner. Wide receiver. Uh, but 126 rated cover player secondary right ho oh, dearie me yeah don't try passing near him it'll get caught uh flipping over to the minstrels you've got oscar cattle prod who is a 91 rated runner and that's pretty good bonky rhino who is completely awful and then percival hatred who is mostly awful anyone else we need to look at they're playing brisket wayfarer who sucks yeah 44 rated gunner, 39 rated linebacker. Not entirely sure what's going on there. Let's find out. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Patrick saying we are screwed. Patrick being the uh, the head coach of the Wretched Minstrels. Uh, let's watch some crying into beer happening live. Okay. Uh, playing in brown. Right, hang on, slope down a bit. There you go. Point, we play at point eight. That's the optimum speed I have located so far. Percival Hatred gets moving, though. Uh, and it's the Minstrels making some moves. 29-yarder there. Here's Bonky Rhino up the middle. And coughs the ball up. Mo Foul, the Treeman, picking it up. That's not the start that you want. There's Scrag Vitamins, the halfling, breaking tackles left right. Well, dodging tackles, I would say, rather than breaking them. He's going to get brought down by Cliff Goat Scream. Uh, but that's a 27-yarder. Here's Evan Doublehair looking for a pass. Has it. Tag Evil Couch. Look at him go. Massive burst of speed straight in there. 28-yard touchdown. And the Toy Masters take the lead. Uh, Oscar Cattle Prod now making four yards. Yeah. Here's uh, Percy Hatreds, the elf. Tries to go straight up the middle. Doesn't work. Here's Bonky Rhino. And uh, coughs the ball up again. Uh, Dave Caustic there causing a fumble. Scrag Vitamins, the halfling, dodging everybody and uh, is making a move downtown and is in. Well, that's 2 nothing in nine plays. That's that's a worry. Uh, just unlucky. Short. Sure. There's another fumble. Goodness me. Uh, Mo Fowl picking up another fumble there. Um, this is not going well. Here's Evan Doublehair looking for a target. And it's deflected as he passes into double coverage. Third and eight. Judy Conspiracy up the middle. The Bastet has moves and makes the first down. Uh, Scrag Vitamins dodging, diving, ducking, weaving. And has space. Is in for the touch. 3 0. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oscar Cattle Prod trying to make amends. Uh, great downfield block opened up a lane there and gets the first down. Percy Hatred looking for a receiver. Has. Uh, who was that? A player. Yeah. Our team is miserable, says uh, Percy Hatred. I agree. Bonky Rhino there making a couple of yards. Here comes uh, Cattle Prod trying straight ahead. Just running straight into the opposing defensive line. Turning the ball over on downs. Vitamins. Uh, once again, evading everyone. Makes it to the 30. To the 25. 100 yards already. I'm um, just like... Uh, turnover. Bonky Rhino there making an interception. Well... You wouldn't have thought that. This is a turnover fest. Uh, and Cattlebrod has room to move. Makes the first down and more to the 45. Brought down just ahead of the 40. Uh, just ahead of the 50, beg your pardon. Percy Hatred straight up the middle. No. No, your blockers aren't good enough. Uh, Bonky Rhino straight up the middle. Third and five. What's Prod going to do? He's going up the middle. Run straight into Mo Fowl. Uh, that's, a, that's a bad idea. Uh, vitamins there. Uh, makes four yards. Here's double hair. Just short of the first down. This one's dead short. 
Uh, but it's a pass. Tag Evil Couch getting the catch. Uh, first pass of the day for Judy Conspiracy. <laughs> Vitamins again, just evading absolutely everybody. Is brought down at the 40. The Toy Masters on the charge once more. Uh, there's a big catch for Greta Truncheon. First we've seen of her today. 17 yarder. Is Judy Conspiracy. Just running, just running like they don't care. Folks, so you're a square, Chet Vacant, but I think it's cool. Gustav Shank and Chet Vacant there exchanging a few words, which is nice. Maybe they were college players. Who's to say? I don't know. Judy Conspiracy. She's got room. She's in. Gets in for the touchdown. That's 4 nothing. 66 plays still to go. Brisket Wayfarer, though, with a nice catch there. Ish. Percy Hatred tries it up the middle. Doesn't work. Here's Bonky Rhino looking for a receiver. And hand, picks out Hatred, who picks up a block and the first down. Well, miracles do happen uh, occasionally. Prod going out, managing to work his way around. The Elf, not the most agile of players, but solidly good in most positions. Uh, Percy Hatred up the, uh, straight up the middle, gets dealt with again. Uh, Percy Hatred said, please someone kill me, this team is awful. Um, well, it could happen. Here comes Oscar Cattleprod getting a first down, and this is the best move we've seen from the, uh, the minstrels in the game so far. Uh, Hatred, again, has a lead block in the form of Cattle Prod, who comes back to make the play. Hatred ducks, dives, weaves, and is just short of the end zone. Rhino, no. Second down, Prod, no. Third down, Hatred, no. Oh my goodness, but it does ma There's a safety. Oh, way, crikey. Well, just would you, indeed. Uh, a safety inflicted by the minstrels, uh, but the toy masters get to keep the ball. Yeah, so it's it's kind of a it's it's a it's a it's a double-edged sword that one there. Uh, but that's the first safety of the season, which is pretty dramatic. Yeah, yeah, is the game dramatic? Not particularly. There goes Tag Evil Couch. Only one other player on the screen. Last, no, no, never mind. A forty-yard touchdown for Evil Couch. He's gone. Prod now trying to make some room for himself to complete a pass. It was fumbled but recovered. Uh, tricky one to pick out what was going on. Bonky Rano making a catch, making some yards too. Uh, gets the first down ahead of their own, uh, the, the opposing 45. Uh, he's now trying to pass and finds an opposing player. And it's Tag Evil Couch. I did say to keep an eye out for him. That's his first interception of his year. Won't be the last. Uh, Scrag Vitamins now the halfling. Gets nothing off that one. Second and eight. Uh, that was double hair completing the pass. Back to the first down again. Conspiracy to Evil Couch. Uh, who gets on his motorbike and he's gone. Not quite. Gets it to the seven. Seems no one listens to you, Scrag Vitamins. That's uh, prod and vitamins there having, a, having some words. Uh, double hair to Vitamins. Touchdown. Scrag Vitamins, fourth touchdown of the game. It's 6-1, and we're just inside the second half now. Uh, Percy Hatred trying and uh, straight up the middle run. It didn't work. Uh, Bonky Rhino coughs it up. Greta Truncheon has the ball. What is going on? Um, yeah, that's this is dreadful play from the Minstrels. Uh, Vitamins with another run. Has the first down and more. Breaks one last tackle and is in. Five touchdowns for Scrag Vitamins. Deary me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just just bad. Uh, at this point, if you're a Minstrels fan, you're hoping one of your own players gets injured so that they can possibly try and find some talent somewhere in the remainder of the roster. They've turned it over on downs again. Uh, here comes Vitamins, the halfling. He's ducking, diving, weaving. Makes about eight. Uh, double hair now, the goblin. Makes the first down. Gets a little bit more inside the opposing 20. 16-yard gain there uh, for double hair. Bad throw. That one, nothing nothing there. Second and goal. Scrag Vitamins. Move it. Sorry, second and nine. Beg your pardon. Vitamins. There's no one there. But decides to just try and dodge the numbers on the field on his way to the end zone. Sixth. Sixth touchdown for Vitamins. Yeah. Yeah. Sixth. Cattle Prod makes five yards. Here's Percy Hatred. He's found Londo Archer, the ogre. What are they doing with an ogre being a receiver? It's madness. Uh, his bonky rhino gets himself well and truly, you know, bonkied. Uh, cattle prods 
Gets another two yards. Third and two. Here's Percy Hatred. Has the room. Has the first down. Has some more. Is going to get brought down by Dave Caustic by the looks of it. But that's 70 yards for Hatred. And then she's just... There it is. Yeah. Just... These guys suck, says Greg Vitamins. And it's not wrong, as Tag Evil Couch picks off another one and has a ton of space. Uh, but will start tiring. Probably going to get brought down. Uh, but that's two interceptions for Tag Evil Couch. Uh, and there's Greta Chonchon making a catch as the Toy Masters are threatening again. Evan Doublehair uh, completes a pass to Truncheon. Uh, Judy Conspiracy tries a run. They're trying to mix it up now. They're just, just turning it on. Here comes Vitamins, putting in some moves. There's still no one can catch him. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Will he be caught? Will he be caught? No. Seventh touchdown of the day for Scrag Vitamins. It's ridiculous. Uh, Prod tries going up the middle. It doesn't work. Um, yeah. Uh, Prod there trying to throw in the side. Didn't work either. Uh, Bonky Rhino trying to pass. That one. That one didn't work. So, taking back control. It's Scrag Vitamins going for number 8. Uh, <laughs> that blocking is on point. Mo foul. Yeah, there's Evil Couch picking up a short one there. Uh, but that's still 117 yards for Evil Couch off just six passes. Uh, I think it was six. The game moves quite quickly. Dave Caustic there getting a sack on some hapless minstrel. To be honest, I'm happy to see it. Because we ate minstrels. Uh, right, what's going on there? Prods makes a catch. Uh, has got the first down. Evan Doublehair closing in. Makes the tackle. Uh, Bonky Rhino. Two of five passes complete for 35 yards. Prod with space. No way. No. No. And is brought down. Ten plays to go. But this is a first down for the Minstrels. And uh, Percy Hatred manages to pick up eight there. Here's Bonky Rhino. It's a bit hopeless. But somehow completes the pass. They've got another first down. Eight plays to go. Can they score an offensive point? Prod's got room. He's in. Oscar Cattle Prod, with time running out, manages to get a consolation uh, score touchdown. There's Tag Evil Couch. He's going. Yep. Can he break Brisket Wayfarer? No. Brisket Wayfarer brings him down. 158 yards for Evil Couch. Uh, five plays to go. Bad pass. That's what that noise means. Bad pass. Scrag Vitamins brought up short, but has 200 yards rushing. Evan Doublehair makes the first down and more, and is inside the 15. Oscar Cattlepro is the only man who can stop him. And he's there. Evan Doublehair is injured. Oscar Cattleprod getting a revenge injury there. Delightful. Final score, the Toy Masters 9, the Minstrels 2. Quite the one-sided affair, I think you'll agree. What a game. Um, clearly some homework to be done back at Minstrels HQ. Because uh, <laughs> that, one, that one didn't go the distance. Our last game that we'll watch live before getting to the other stuff is going to be the Erg Melonflex Chroniclers up against the Edgislum Marching Band. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. For, uh, right. On the... Oh, crikey. Well, Edgislum look really good. Rough Tough Smith has a 102 runner rating. I don't know if that's running or passing. Doesn't say. Uh, Paul Tribunal has got a 91 rating. Completely. But he's playing lineman and it's awful. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. This is either going to be dead close or it won't be. Uh, yeah, because the, the Edge of Slum should score loads. Flora Dope is the third and is a pretty solid player, but is awful at, at playing linebacker. So defensively, I do not like the looks of Edge of Slum. Offensively, they look tremendous. Uh, over on the Chroniclers, Flapjack Nope, pretty solid runner, halfling. You know what to expect. Uh, then Ramsey Pothole, Orc, I think. Can't tell. Um... Uh, not very good as a runner. Hank Fungible, their third runner, also not very good. That could be trouble for them. However, defensively, they have... Well, they've also got Flash Bandit playing at Gunner at 100. 100-rated 100 Gunner. That's not bad. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and also, Flash Bandit, pretty good at pass coverage. 
It's gonna. Oh yeah, you've got Bernie Crampons playing for Edu Slum as well. Todd Baubles is playing on the uh, on the Chroniclers. Let's get to it. Anthony Gua is also there. Uh, for those of you who are fa favourers of his, let's rock. Okay, right. Uh, knock this down by a couple, and knock this down by one. No, no, knock this down by one. There you go. Flapjack Nope is getting away from things. I assume that was a pass. No, it was a 36-yard run. Sorry, I was busy tuning the game. It doesn't remember me settings, which I quite like. Um, Flapjack Nope. Uh, oh, it's a fumble, but everybody's fallen over. Bernie Crampons picks it up. The Gnome making moves. Breaks the first tackle. 25-yard line. Uh, who's who's doing this? This is the uh, Edgy Slum team with a massive fumble recovery by uh, Bernie Crampons. Fungible tries a pass, nothing happens. Here comes Tribunal, the halfling. Tries a pass, gets it to Crampons, it's a touchdown. Well, well, who knew? Uh, Flapjack Nope, the halfling. He is slow, uh, but gets the first down somehow. Anyway, it's Fungible, straight up the middle. Putting in a dodge, putting in another dodge. Uh, gets the first down, but little more. Here's Randy Pothole, the goblin. Just absolutely slaying through those first blockers. Uh, but it's a second and two. Nope. Has coughed it up again. And who's picked it up? It's Flora Dope, the gnome. Todd Bauble's trying to close in, but that's a treeman trying to track down a gnome there. Easier said than done. Yeah, Rough Stuff Smith there trying something, but nothing gets done. Is uh, Paul Tribunal gets it to Chunk Flunkerson, who has room to move. Room to move in the end zone in sight. Uh, edge of slum. And he's get brought down by Truman again. Scrunchy Gubbins is meditating. Is Flora Dope uh, for Edgy Slum. He is injured and he's gone. Uh, Todd Baubles is being brought in. Uh, no, Todd Baubles caused the injury. Do beg your pardon. I misread the thing. Uh, I'm new to this and therefore, you know, details. Uh, right. Uh, Flapjack Nope making moves. A uh, bit of halfling ducking and diving going on there. His fungible has an open man. It's Flash Bandit. Flash Bandit starting to put some space, but running out of steam quite quickly. Gets 39 yards, though, and that's solid. There's Pothole. Throwing at nothing. Just just throwing at nothing there. Flapjack, nope. Second and ten. Deflected pass by Flunkerson. Is fungible. Has blocks, but uh, Todd Baubles there misses the critical one. It's all over. Rough Stuff Smith with the pass. Double coverage. That was never happening. Have they got... A yeah, they've got two tree men in as linebackers. I can't see that working for them. No. Uh, Paul Tribunal, despite moving in slow motion, has got some distance now. Uh, eventually brought down after 28 yards. Ian Porn Helmet is, uh, is the replacement player for your edgy slum. I've no idea if he's good or not. I think we'll let the results speak for themselves uh, as the results come in, which they will do over the following 76 plays. Uh, Flapjack Nope there. I think Flapjack is the least nimble halfling we've seen play so far today. Uh, still making decent yards, but... But it's not not what you would call as agile, perhaps, as uh, as those we have witnessed up to this point. It's another fumble! Oh, who got this one? Uh, no, still in possession are, uh, are the Chroniclers. And this time it's turned over after third down. Rough Stuff Smith... Gnome trying to... What was that your sweet, sweet moves, was it, rough stuff? Because that was rough. Yeah. Crampons gets the pass. Has one... Well, no, gets the first down and is gradually taken down by a flipping oak. Uh, of some description. Another pass there, but it's a short one. Pawn helmet there, completing his first attempt. Flunkerson gets the pass. And that's two really slow lads behind him, but he's going to run out of steam sooner rather than later, and he's... Take it down after 41 yards. This is a close one. Uh, Porn Helmet there with a catch. First down. Touchdown. Porn Helmet comes off the bench and, uh, and gets a touchdown. The little goblin there making it work. Flapjack, nope. Doesn't manage to get anything there. Is fungible, the gnome. Uh, gets it to Scrungy Gubbins, who has room to move. I mean, a failure moving in for the tackle is doesn't get it. Shamrock Bubble Jet, though, does. Uh, Paul Tribunal's been injured. Uh, by uh, Archibus J. Lamar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, I'm bringing in another another replacement already. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Someone's got their curse turned up. Uh, Scrungy Gubbins getting another move. Uh, the Chronicles looking to make their first score of the day. 
and they're already playing against backups in two positions. That's 25% of the players. Flapjack Mope gets in, and the game has closed back up. 2-1 now the score. Rough Stuff Smith getting a run in there. Just not as impressive as I was expecting. Maybe maybe should be looking to pass. Ian Porn Helmet. Again, a solid move. 12 yarder. Not bad. Here's Ivor Horn. Really? That's not one of mine. No, it really isn't. Uh, this is what you get when you let other people occasionally name players, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. Single entendre. Uh, Ian Porn Helmet completes to Bernie Crampons. Crampons is moving. Uh, he's got uh, he's got a step or two over fungible. Can he go all the way? Yes, he can. Crampons in for his second of the game off a 39-yard touchdown. Edge is slum in the lead. 3-1. Uh, 55 plays to go. Still half the game. There's fungible. Good pass. Picked up by Bandit. And Bandit's got room to run. He coughed it up, but it went out of bounds there. Uh, so they stay in possession. Uh, that's a nice pass to Gubbins. He's not going to make the first down. He's coughed it up as well, and it's gone out of bounds. Goodness me, what is going on with these fumbling players? Uh, yeah. Flapjack Nope comes through traffic. Many people on the ground at the end of that one and gets to the 25-yard line. Uh, the Chronicles not giving up and falling over and rolling over and dying. No. Uh, it's not even a cursed field. No. No, it isn't. Uh, third and ten. Nope. Pass. Intercepted by Porn Helmet. Who is looking, you know, I mean, pretty strong. Uh, for a player who wasn't selected to play. Uh, hold on. Fungible's just intercepted one that was thrown incredibly wrong. If I didn't know better, I'd say that was deliberately thrown to him. Uh, yeah. Anyway, here's Flapjack Nope. He gets a yard, maybe. Here's Fungible. Looking for the pass. Gets it. Has Scrungy Gubbins. And that's their second of the day. Uh, Team-wise. Not Gubbins. Gubbins hasn't scored already. Flunkerson gets brought down. Going back the other way. 3-2 now the score. Uh, they're going to need a turnover, and this is one. Gubbins trying to get the bounce, and he gets the bounce. The Chroniclers have it back. Uh, if they can make this drive work, this game has just been tough. Flabjack note breaks like a thousand tackles. Is now down to the 20. Will get brought down. No, he won't. Flabjack nope takes it to the 10. What a hero. Uh, hang for wide open in the end zone, Flash Bandit. It's 3 all. Well, what an exciting game. Uh, there's another fumble. It's, I think it's because it's icy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's icy. It's icy. It's the weather. Uh, there it is. Well, if that's what you want, that's what you get. Flapjack Nope now takes possession. Second and eight. Uh, they are. They're challenging for a score here. That was a terrible throw. Third and eight. Ramsey potholes him in a spin. It's a pass. It's a catch. Bandit gets his second of the day. And for the first time, the Chroniclers are in the lead. Uh, Flunkerson there, making a first down catch. Not bad. Not bad. Pawn helmet. Uh, deflected by Fungible on its way to Crampons. Uh, here's either Horn, caught by Rough Stuff Smith. Smith, moving up the field. He's got a tree man on his tail, and that's not where you want a tree man at all. No, you want him in the garden, uh, providing some shade on a hot summer's day. Uh, but that's not where he was this time, no. Anyway, the game has moved on from there. That's a great pass out to Crampons. Crampons has got tons of room. There's a five. There's a goal. It's tied up again. 32 game uh, uh, plays remain in the game. It's four all. Flapjack, no. Flunkson's having a bit of a sit down. Picks himself back up to eventually make the tackle. Whoo, here comes Fungible. And it's dropped by Bandit, who was so wide open. It's not even worth talking about. I mean, he basically didn't have any doors at all. Third and five. Critical play. Nope. Cut. Oh, gee, you just has to break two tackles to keep the drive alive. And, uh, okay, we're, I mean, there, oh, I just, oh, Gubbins makes the catch. There's so much action. Uh, Gubbins there with the first down after a 17-yarder. Ramsey Pothole, the Goblin, looks for a receiver, can't find one, chucks it out of bounds. Second and ten. It's four and four all. Twenty-six he plays there's twenty-six plays to go. Third and seven. Fungible up the middle. He isn't gonna make it. They've turned it over. He's rough stuff, Smith, who I said would have a big game and so far hasn't. Uh, so shows what I know. Uh Porn Helmet there getting sacked by Ramsey Pothole. Third and seven. There's a pass. It's in the floor. 
And uh, the Chroniclers take over with another chance to win it. Gubbins has got it. Takes it to 25. Breaks a tackle. Someone's injured back there. It's cr Crampons by the looks of it. Gubbins gets it down to the three. Crampons has been injured by Gubbins. Fungible goes in for the goal. Oh, 5-4 uh, to the Chroniclers. Bernie Crampons is out. Yeah. It's, a, it's all action here in the all action action zone. Uh, Ivor Horn, the elf. Looks for a target, finds one. It is uh, hand sanitizer. Again, what happens when you let other people name it? And they've turned it over. And now the Chroniclers are just looking to run out of the clock. 15 plays to go. There's Bandit. Bandit's got room. 10, 5, and brought down at the 1. Ramsey Paul straight up the gut, straight in the end zone. Surely that wraps up the game. The Chroniclers taking the lead 6 to 4. Uh, 12 plays left to go. Pawn Helmet finds Flunkerson. Flunkerson making moves. He's not going to get far. Gubbins will bring him down. Uh, just shy of the 50. Shamrock Bubblejet is excitedly wagging his tail. That's nice, but we don't need that kind of detail. Horn tries a run, gets four. Nothing good. Uh, Rough Stuff Smith is a nothing. Is having a nothing day. I don't know why. No, I maybe need to reevaluate my evaluation abilities. Maybe you do at that flapjack nope breaking tackles for the chroniclers and they started slow in this one but they've made an awful lot of headway since then nope has got 213 yards in today's game on the ground fungible carries it for three uh potholes looking for a target has bandit one tackle to break and it's a sub no Sanitizer there makes the uh, makes the last ditch tackle, but Flapjack nopes up the middle into the end zone. That's, this is all over. Seven four four plays to go, and uh, the Chroniclers managed to pull back a game that was that was looking like it could have gone the wrong way. It didn't go the wrong way. It went very much their way. There's Sanitizer the bastard. He's got a ton of speed, tons of speed. Oh boy, close down eventually. Two plays to go. Can they pull a consolation out here? Well, they've got Sanitizer again. Yeah, they're going to score here. Nice consolation score there from Edgislum. Wonders why they don't didn't try more of that early on. Flapjack note running the ball again. <laughs> it's pretty difficult to bring down. Uh, final score, Erg Melonflex Chroniclers 7, Edgislum Marching Band 5. Whoo, Crampons was having a decent game right up to... Yes, this is uh, fan points, uh, which contributes towards them getting elected into all-star teams and teams of the year and that kind of stuff. Uh, so you've got offensive fan points, defensive fan points, and that's based on how they performed in the game. Uh, yeah, Rough Stuff Smith, big disappointment. If I'd had him on my fantasy team, I'd be, you know, pretty sad about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Erg Melonflex, despite having, what, nothing, I misread it. Okay, carry on? Yeah, I reckon. Right, let us simulate the remainder of the games. Now, here's the thing. Uh, when you simulate games, unlike other management games, in other management games, when you simulate a game, it basically makes it look, uh, they, they, they play it using effectively a different engine. Uh, to simulate the result. Not in this game. It just plays them really, really fast in the background. And occasionally, you will see a player flitting around. It... I, how, I mean, just incredible. Uh, so let's simulate this week. Uh, how many games have we got left to play? Uh, one, two, yeah, three, four, five, six. You will see all these teams over the course of the season, definitely. Uh, seven, yeah, eight, nine. Right, simulate the remainder of the games, please. All right, here we go. Grunt's auto grip against the Vuvu boys. Uh, the Vuvu boys putting up some good scoring here. Uh, but, but oh, wait, whoa. Was that a tie? We'll have to look in a minute. Um, that was a very close game. That was a big comeback there. Uh, the Failywood Hills Wizards. I wish I could slow it down. I could do one at a time. But you have to go into the game and then uh, speed it up to simulation. You can't go straight to just sim one game, which is a shame. Um... Uh, beekeepers looking good up against Sports Ball Union. I think that was a win for the beekeepers. Uh, yeah. I I, if I now hit sim and slow it down by one, we actually watch the game. You see? That's that's how well done this is. Flipping it. That's the reddest of red stadia. 
that you're ever going to see. The Pathfinder's looking good over Peninsula Transport. Looking real good. 5-1, I think, the final score there. Uh, Lingo Blend Budget. Because we're about to get to the good bit. Uh, yeah. Only one player death so far, he says, deliberately trying to jinx things. And there it is. Right. We're into manager moments. I now need to adjust my uh, my screen view here. Uh, right. Yeah, there's people just not paying attention to the instructions. I'm talking to you, Snaggers. It's you. Yeah. You want to manage the Steganauts? I will give you control of the Steganauts there, Mr. Snaggers. Right. Good. Yeah. It's only because I know you. Uh, right. Failywood Hills. Is Failywood Hills in the house? No, not today. Is Failywood Hills owned? Yes. But no instructions have been given. Oh. In which case, it's an AI decide job. Bounties. If uh, an opposing player has a particularly good game, you can issue a bounty on them. But what's the bounty? Injure them. Or worse. Yeah. <laughs> Inj injure them or worse. Uh, that's, that's the objective there. Uh, right. Yeah. So, uh, are we going to put a bounty against the wizard hole? Wizards, the AI has decided. Stardo's a human resources coach, Erodal, uh, would like to skip practice for the week and focus on building team morale. Uh, now, we have... We have instructions for teams who aren't present. However, Stardoza are in the house. Uh, if you would like to give your instruction via the Discord, uh, do you want to uh, do you want to skip a practice and the team uses some durability, or do you want to reject it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You should be in the Discord, there, uh, Brother Kane. Uh, what do you want to do? It's your choice. Yeah, reject it. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, right. I'll, I'll take it through either chat. It's all good. Uh, Sportsball Union, Jenny J. Sonar. Uh, Sportsball Union are not currently owned. Uh, Sportsball Union, not currently owned. Uh, that's going to be an AI decide. Now, what happens when a player is cut is that based on the other team's rosters, they all get the chance to sign them. Which is interesting. Right, AI decide on the cut. Yep. The Wizards, would you like to sign? Wizards are currently unknown, AI decide. Nope. Of City Axemen are currently unowned, AI decide. They don't want them. Lingo Blend are currently un 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 uncontrolled. These are all the bad teams. That's why, that's why they're getting first dibs. They have signed them. Okay, Jenny J. Sonar signs for the Lingo Blend All-Stars. In other news this week, uh, Sportsball Union Sealer Emphysema has improved through hard work. Uh, Vicky Flamboyant for Grazer Ridge has also improved, uh, as have uh, the Pathfinders Gilbert Wrinkles, uh, the All-Stars Ross Puke, uh, Chaz Crankfond for the Voo Voo Boys has also improved, uh, Braindig Gladwin has also improved, uh, as has uh, Sanguine Pangs. And uh, Trellis Cosmic for the Axemen. The Bouncer's Marnie Wormgut has improved with help from team training staff. Nice. Uh, the Toy Master's Guy Incognito has helped, uh, has improved in a similar fashion, uh, as has Eric PowerPoint. I probably won't read all of those out next week because that gets quite boring quite quickly. I'll read the ones that are a little bit more intriguing, I think. Uh, you take it as too late to participate. What are you talking about? Uh, you don't participate in what? There's nothing to participate in. Uh, all, all of the participation action has happened. Uh, it's there. It's done. It's uh, it's business. It's happening. Um, if you want a team and you don't have... Oh, is that what you meant, Eduardo? Sorry, didn't didn't trigger that. If you would like a team, the description contains the link to uh, everything you need to know. Yeah. Uh, it's very low pressure. It really is. Uh, you turn up, you watch your team play like crap, and you go, ah. uh, Right, chemistry. Sunshine Fun Bus, uh, Saturn Mist has improved team chemistry, making the Fun Bus a happier and funner place to be. Uh, nice. Uh, the Beekeepers, Leo Von Cleats, has made the Beekeepers a worse place to be. Uh, Stardozer have skipped practice. Cheering Incorporate Carly Carly helps Viggy Viking with an acidic jacket. What does that mean? The appeal of the team has improved. That's nice. Uh, on Shady Palms, Polly Babylon has just got a salary decrease. 
uh, on uh, dantony intestines at the bumps and medics has had a salary decrease as well at grazer ridge ominous bob has helped toots majestic with a pleasant surprise <laughs> i don't need more details and a scandal at sports ball union as jenny j sonar uh, applauds subdued spiritual don't really understand four points of appeal lost at sports ball union goodness gracious here's your week's top performers uh, we'll start at the bottom. Pancakes, which is when one player splats another, usually a blocker. Uh, sat and missed there uh, for the Sunshine Fun Bus. 77 pancakes in a game. That's enormous. Uh, Jemima Hurts defensively. Eight deflections for the Vuvu boys. Steve Murray, BDP. Woohoo! Five sacks. He's our guy. Uh, tackles for lost buttercup guns at the Axemen. Got four. Uh, Fred Singularity at the Roadies managed to get 19 tackles. That's a nutcase number. Of, that's a fifth. A fifth of all tackles there. Uh, no, in the game. In the game. True. Yeah. Uh, tag Evil Couch. Two interceptions for the Toy Masters. Uh, flipping over. Receiving yards. Nigel Prison at Grazer Ridge. 217 receiving yards. Rush yards. Ed Flipping Big Mother at the Sunshine Fun Bus. 256 yards. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's enormous. Um, Anthony Goat, the Pirates, 305 total yards. That's everything combined. 269 of which were in the air. Didn't they lose? Offensive player of the week is Scrag Vitamins at the Toy Masters. We saw him play, and that's a good thing. It's good that we see the good players play. Uh, defensive player of the week, Tommy Money at the Beekeepers. And uh, player of the week, Hank Fungy fungible. Hang fungible. Oh, did Grunt draw at the end? I'll look it up for you, Toby. Hang on. Um, uh, yeah. And, uh, so there you go. There's your players of the week. And that's the week wrapped up. Here's week one's results. Grunt, Vuvu Boys, five all. Uh, Sunshine Fun Bus, five nothing. Gracious. Uh, over the medics. Uh, Pigs Creek Miners, five. Marsupials, four. Blood Pit Bouncers, seven. Port Miggins, Pirates, four. I might have to do the pulls. Uh, I was already I was already considering doing a fantasy football league for this fantasy football league. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you all have fantasy teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just there's there are so many levels. Levels, man. But do the pulls. Oh, that could be amazing. It could be amazing. And actually, that could be quite simple to do. Ed, we're going to have words. Shady Palms uh, lost 4-2 against Grazer Ridge. Off City Axemen lost 2-1 against the Space Agency. Pathfinders 5, Peninsula Transport 1. Uh, the Steganauts 3, Nomads 2. Uh, then you've got the Fire Chefs uh, in the game that we saw early on. 4-2 over the Stardozer Human Resources team. Uh, the Sea Raiders just narrowly beat Colonel Score 3 2. That was quite a close game. Very defensive, that one. Uh, Lingo Blend All Star 7, Budget Ruddies 3. And then Chroniclers 7, Edge of Slum 5. Uh, Bulldozer Power 5, Cheerio 2. I was as surprised as anybody. Uh, the Toy Masters 9, highest score of the week uh, over the Wretched Minstrels. Ho hum. And then the Beekeepers 5, Sports Ball Union 2. Uh, before the Wizards, six. Fairywood Hills, five. Next week's games coming on up there. Uh, Vuvu boys uh, fly to start those. I don't know. I don't know which team's at home. Could be either. Could be both. Um, uh, back from work, Matthew Cage. Going back to the start. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, and then Brother Came chucked five in. This is super fun. Really enjoyed it. That's what we aim for. Uh, Pick Group Miners versus the Roadies. BD Pip taking on Shady Palms. Uh, that's the number three pass offense in the league. Yeah, boy. Up against, how's their pass defense? Not all that. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Pathfinders are taking on Sports Ball Union. That's, that's going to be a defensive showdown. The number one uh, pass defense in the league. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Defense total 14, you see. No, the Pathfinders defense is ranked third. Ours is ranked second. Good God. How did that happen? Steve freaking Murray. Uh, Grazer Ridge, Wizards. Both teams won in week one. What can they do in week two? Transport taking on the Toy Masters. Grunt Auto Group playing the Fire Chefs. 
Uh, the sweaty marsupials are taking on the number one offense, which is the Lingo Blend All Stars. They're not the number one offense. You keep looking at pass. It's total clown. Oh, total clown. They're fourth. That's still quite good. Uh, Colonel School are taking on the medics. Both teams mediocre. Uh, Chroniclers against Blood Pit uh, is a uh, is is going to be a game. And then you've got the Space Agency up against Fado. You know you could read this, but I'll re until you recognise all the logos, I might as well just do it for you. Uh, Colonel Space Agency against Fado at Hills. Uh, that's the number one defence. Yeah. One pities failure with Hills. The Nomads are taking on the Minstrels, who are not the worst offensive team in the league. Uh, that one could go either way. That's exciting. Of City versus the Beekeepers. Uh, then you've got the Steganauts versus Cheerio Incorporated. Then the Fun Bus, the number two offense, number six defense, whoo, up against the Sea Raiders. And then the Pirates up against Edgy Slum. I look forward to seeing you for that. Uh, if you own a team, there will be a video coming probably tomorrow uh, where I go through the stats on every single team so you can see what's what. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got feedback on the format, uh, just let me know. And uh, and then uh, then I'll, I'll take those on board before we do this the same time next week because I enjoyed doing this actually quite a bit more than I thought I was going. I thought I'd struggle. But no, I should have had faith in myself. I did not struggle. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of business. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheerio. Pretty sure this is the right button. I can't even see me flipping preview. I know my microphone's still on. That's by design. Oh, yeah, there we go. Call this an outro. Call it whatever you like. I'm out of here.